for going here and if you're new to my channel like create content around cooking cleaning and organization i also do a day in the life vlogs and hauls today's video is a huge market haul i just came from the market and i bought a lot of food stuff i have been meaning to go to the market because i want to always have uh vegetables and fruits in stock because i am trying to have more vitamins and yeah so i have to always make sure i have fruits and vegetables in the house so all that i bought last time is depleted so i needed to go for a quick restock so i am going to quickly take you through what i got and how much i paid for each item so yeah so i don't want to spend so much time in fact i wasn't intending to do this video but i thought i'm not going to do another haul until next month maybe mid next month and that will be a long time to have no haul on this channel so yeah and you guys seem to love the haul so why not let's do this one so i'm going to pick things randomly and just tell you the prices then we will see how much i spent at the market so starting us off is a watermelon these are so good right now i think they're in season this was 50 shillings today i felt like it was smaller than usual but yeah they're saying they're expensive but they're fair and it's so good i had a piece at the market it's so good so watermelon for 50 shillings i also got a bunch of bananas i always get these ones this is the gekoyo what's the name this is the gekoyo nyoro like the traditional this is not grafted it's like the original nyoro you, you might not understand it but i love these bananas and i always know the difference they are usually short and they always have some random marks so yeah so i got this bunch this was 70 shillings they were selling four for 20 and these are like 10 so i don't know yeah do the math anyway yeah i got this for 70 bob we love bananas as well i don't as much but my partner loves them so i always get him some bananas and if we have leftover and they overripe i just make some banana bread some banana muffins yeah so we got some bananas then i got a pack of grapes this cost me 250 shillings from the market they look like they are beautiful and they are amazing yeah so some grapes for 250 then let's continue with the fruits i got some mangoes today and mangoes are not even in stock but you know we are lucky we still have some at the market so i got this it was 50 shillings which of course it's expensive but the last time i got these mangoes from that mama i bought from they were really good really really good so i thought why not buy it today and they are all unripe so i'm going to keep them and leave them to ripen and in a few days three four five days they will be ready to eat so some mangoes i also got a bag of fruits here that has passion fruit this has passion fruit and apples i have i think eight apples it was 30 shillings today the ones that cost 25 shillings were not as good and maybe it's because i went to the market late and they had been like selected by other people that went earlier so i had to just buy the 30 bob ones because they are healthier and today they were bigger so it wasn't such a huge loss so these were 30 shillings and there are eight of those and then these are four for 50 shillings and they look like they're nice so some passion fruit and some apples then still on the fruits i got some avocado is avocado a fruit i think it's a fat but it's a fruit right it's a fatty fruit right <laughs> So I got some avocados and as I had mentioned in a previous video, I told you guys I always buy some fruits unripe because it's easier to handle them when, you know, going home and all. So I love to get avocados and then, you know, guys, when they're buying avocados, they tend to like press them and they just become distorted. So I love to buy mine unripe as long as I know it's a good breed of avocados, it's a good like type, I don't mind buying them unripe. So I'm going to keep this as well as the mangoes to ripen and once they are ready i'll just keep them in the fridge so some avocados each was 30 shillings so yeah i paid 90 shillings for three still on the fruits i am really serious with this fruit business <laughs> i got a pineapple a cute round short pineapple like me i am cute short and round <laughs> i got a pineapple this cost me 60 shillings which i thought was a good deal yeah, this still comes from that area I told you. Gatolo South has the best pineapples. Go tell your mother. <laughs> 
Anyway, yeah, a pineapple for 60 bob. Then, uh, do we still have something in the fruit section? I think we still have more fruits. More fruits, more fruits. Oh, yeah, we do. I got some oranges. Another full bag of oranges. So, I got these oranges. These are the Fanta oranges. Let me tell you. Hey, I've become such a market mama. I know these things. These are the Fanta oranges. In fact, they taste like Fanta. Trust me, they taste like Fanta orange. So, I got about what 10 or more 12 so they were going for four four for 50 which i thought um it's kind of expensive but there weren't so many oranges at the market today in fact only one person had like nice ones that were healthy and all so i had to buy that so all this cost me 150 bob a whole bag of oranges vitamin c loading i think i'm done with the fruit yeah i think i've had all the fruits out so now we go straight to the vegetables so this bag has some spinach it has like six seven eight branches bunches of spinach i got this because maybe we can have this with ugali or maybe i can make it as a side for rice i don't know i always get spinach when i go to the market and this cost me 60 shillings each bunch was they were selling three bunches for 20 shillings so i got nine bunches which cost me 60 shillings so some spinach then i got some bell peppers bell peppers ho ho capsicum whatever you call them i got these and they're so healthy today they are so so healthy today i got two red ones two yellow ones and three and three green ones now the three green ones were going for three for 50 that's why i got three i rarely i rarely buy things in odd numbers but yeah today was the day so i got three green ones for 50 shillings then each of the colored ones was 50 bob one one was 50 bob so this cost me 200 and this cost me 50. so this entire bag was 250 shillings some popsicum then these are bags when i go to the market i always carry bags like so many of these so that i can package everything i buy in its own bag for organizational purposes yes I got some green maize. They are so tiny, but they are so fresh. This is why I got them. These are for making mokimo. Obviously, I just bought two. This will make two meals of mokimo. And I have two containers of blended mokimo leaves. So, yeah, I didn't have any maize left. And my family loves mokimo so much. So, I needed to get some maize. It was 20 shillings. So, I paid 40 shillings for the maize. Then, uh, we keep going. We keep going. In this bag... I have some broccoli here is some broccoli the biggest broccoli i've seen yet it is so big so so big and this cost me a hundred shillings last time i got broccoli from that uh, mama at the market it was so good i had to buy one today so broccoli 400 then let's see i have some dania here have some dania for 20 so many there are so so many for 20 i think that was like they just gave it to me honestly and then i got a cucumber for 20 shillings and i got some cogets for 10 shillings i bought three so these were 30 this was 20 and dania 20 and the broccoli 100 shillings so that's kind of my vegetable bag that has random vegetables yeah guys i can't imagine the work that is waiting for me unpacking cleaning and organizing all this guys it's not an easy job but it has to be done and talking of that i did a video last week like a, two, a few videos ago or i think the last video i shared with you guys it was of how i clean everything and store in the fridge in the pantry everywhere else so please check that out before you ask me how i'm going to store these things okay okay then we go on i got a bag of onions the cutest onions yet these are red onions these are 2 kg this is a 2 kg bag of red onions this cost me 140 shillings so a kg has gone up by 10 shillings since the last time i was there it was 60 shillings but today it was 70 shillings but they are healthier and they are fuller and they look like they are nice so i didn't mind paying that extra then i got three bulbs of 
uh, three bulbs of garlic, which was 20 shillings, so 60 shillings. So this bag of onions cost me 200 shillings. Some onions. Then I got another bag. I got another bag of carrots, the freshest carrots yet. Guys, I hope you remember. I told you that when you go to the market, get the slimmer, the slimmer carrots. These ones are sweeter than the fat ones. Anything that is in its baby form is sweeter than when it is in its older form, like its adult form. So if you're buying vegetables, try and go for the for the younger ones. They are sweeter and they are fresher. So yeah, this is a bag of carrots. Cost me 50 shillings, which is quite a deal for all these carrots. For 50 shillings, I think it's a, it's a good deal, right? Let me know in the comments if it's a good deal. Then I got a cabbage, the tiniest cabbage yet. It's so cute, but it was so expensive. So I paid 30 shillings for this cabbage, but I understand there, there aren't many cabbages in stock right now. Like it's planting season, so there aren't mature cabbages to be sold. So yeah, maybe they are, they are, they are scarce. Let's just say that they are scarce, but at least they are available. So that's a good thing. Then I have a bag of potatoes you could use in the house. Duh. like of course how do you go to the market and come back without potatoes how so i got a bag of potatoes this cost me 50 shillings it's a whole 2 kg bag of potatoes hey goodness guys i think we are overeating we are overeating i also got a bag of peas minji use in the house i have cabbage i have carrot i have potatoes i have minji ah perfect perfect my ancestors are happy my ancestors are very happy i got a whole bag of minji this cost me 80 shillings but i bargained i bargained they were selling it to me for 100 more because they thought i don't know the market rate me i'm going i told them no i know minji right now is 80 shillings so please don't get started with that g100 but no sell it to me at 80 shillings now thanks mm -hmm. then i got another small bag of meshiri french beans guy kiku use see today i'm representing guy 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 i'm representing i got some machinery i got this for 50 shillings this entire bag is 50 shillings i intend to have this with the broccoli some carrots some capsicum you know just a nice vegetable stir fry i really 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 hope this time round i will remember to shoot that recipe because you guys were interested the last time i shared i was going to make a vegetable stir fry so i really really hope i'm going to i'm going to write it down in my content plan so that i don't forget so some machinery and then i got some tomatoes the love of my life the apple of my eye i got so many so many tomatoes i cannot survive without tomatoes anyway i got tomatoes unfortunately my dad's farm has um finished its work the tomatoes are depleted but that man works so hard he's gonna plant others and i'm going to enjoy others thank you daddy amen anyway i got a bag of tomatoes this cost me 200 shillings i think it's a good deal for all these tomatoes they were selling four for 20 but that mama was like you know what you're my customer i'm going to sell it to you at uh five for 20. so yeah make friends make friends at the market guys make friends at the market so that is all i bought at the market i really do hope i have showed you everything yeah that is all i got from the market today so today i spent cost me 2000 shillings 350 and the reason i went over my usual 2000 budget is because i bought the tomatoes guys remember i haven't been buying tomatoes because daddy has been has been giving me tomatoes and also i bought minji today and, and i don't usually buy those every time and may so i'm thinking the extra 150 shillings uh the extra 350 shillings is for the maize the minji and the 
tomatoes. Yeah, but I got everything that I needed and I am happy, I am settled. At least I have food for the next two, three weeks. So yeah, so that is all I got from the market. But before I finish, I went in Tuba hunting because goodness, like I needed to get myself some t-shirts. You guys have seen this t-shirt. You're about to just call me by its name, the, 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 the gray, navy blue stained t-shirt. You're about to call me that instead of calling me Wangoi. So I thought I need to just get some nice t-shirts just to chill at home, shoot videos, just you know guys i'm so simple when it comes to fashion i really don't care about looking like i am going to a gala while i am at home honestly i am the realest you will ever find so i got a t-shirt and it's written i'll be there for you honestly i bought it because of this print that is all i got it because of the color and this print these t-shirts cost me 150 shillings but the bargainer that i am the bargainer that my mother taught the bargainer that thrives <laughs> i bargained and bought each at 100 shillings shamefully yeah so i got my shirt this is obviously mine so imagine i am much bigger than my boyfriend but we wear the same size of t-shirts so i just bought t-shirts whoever wears whatever i really don't care yeah so this is mine because he, he can't wear this print i know him he cannot then i got neutral colored ones i am i love anything neutral i love the blacks grays navies whites i love those so i got another plain black tee here it is this will fit him it will fit me whoever likes it takes it another t-shirt then i got another t-shirt here another black one and this is a primark t-shirt it's a really good quality t-shirt same black color whoever gets this takes it if we decide to wear it both of us no problem then i got this grayish one this is bigger but i got it because i love these tees to wear with tights like i have done today so when i'm going to the market i can wear this with tights and it's comfortable i really don't like when things are like holding my meat together i hate tight clothes if you've not noticed i hate tight clothes i don't wear my jeans often because they just my thighs are like we need help so i love to stay in tights and t-shirts so i got this big one for that so there goes and lastly i got this gray one which can be mine it can be his whoever likes it it's just a plain gray t-shirt another 100 bob so i got some t-shirts then on my way out so on my way out i found someone selling some towels and i have been meaning to add to what we have now because some of them are starting to wear out you know towels have to be washed so many times so i found these and guess what i found them as a set how beautiful i found these towels as a set so i found two of them and they come in the same print so they have this blue print here and they are a nice creamy yellowish color so i got two so one is gonna be mine the other one is gonna be his we can twin as far as towels go and guess how much each was 300 shillings but i bargained she was selling them to me at 500 shillings and i was like you you don't know you don't know the bargainer you're talking about i got these towels at 300 shillings each so both 600 bob and well there i noticed she had some hand towels and i i don't have nice hand towels i wanted to even buy new ones but the ones i saw were expensive and they looked like they they weren't the absorbent type so i found this and i just bought all the cream that she had imagine she had all this in a cream color and they are so nice such a nice size to be honest and imagine one was a hundred shillings i was like give them to me give them to me so i bought four because she only had four cream ones i got four and at least now we can change them often i have at least a stash to change every day or every other day some nice hand towels so these she was selling at a hundred bob each that i also bargained because when you go thrifting you have to bargain everything i bargained and she sold them at 350 all of them so yeah i paid 950 for all this 
So yeah, so I got that. Then <laughs> I got this bag. It's a Fortnite bag and it has some weird prints of animals and people dancing. I got this for my partner's lunch. But he might like it or he might not like it. If he likes it, well and good. If he doesn't like it, I'll just use it to organize like my makeup. I don't know. So I'll see if he likes it. Good. If he doesn't, it will get some use around the house. So this cost me 200 bob. This is the joy of thrifting and you always get nice high quality stuff. Then the inside is insulated so he can carry his food warm and also if it spills inside it won't like spill on his laptop, his books, in the bag, whatever. So yeah, this is a nice bag, cost me 200. So that is all I got from the market today. It was quite eventful and it was quite fruitful. I got everything I needed and more. So I am happy about that. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this haul and I hope you've learned something. Let me know down in the comment section what you thought today was expensive, what you thought was cheaper. Let me know how much you spend buying groceries for the month, especially the fresh ones from your local market. Let's exchange notes and tips. Let's learn. Someone might find something useful here, right? So I am so happy. Thank you guys so much. I hope to see you next time. Bye!